Hi, I'm going to show you how to install SUSE Manager 3 in some quick, easy steps. I have a virtual machine running, a KVM. I have one processor. I've got 8 gig of memory, which is recommended. I'm booting off of the CD first. I've got two disks. The 60 gig drive is for my operating system. My 400 gig drive is for the SUSE Manager stuff. I've got a CD-ROM connected to an ISO image, which is a SLES 12 SP2. I've got two NICs. And that's it. Basically all I need to run a system manager server. We're going to boot off the ISO image. I'm going to run through the installation. accept the license okay here you're going to enter your email and your registration for SLES 12 this is not the one for System Manager. This is this reg code for SLES 12. It's going to contact SEC. It's going to ask if you want the repositories. Here are the available extensions. And we're going to look for System Manager 3. You can see it here. Once you select that, it'll automatically download the packages needed to make a System Manager server. We have to accept the license now for SUSE Manager. Okay, next you put in the registration code for your SUSE Manager, which is a separate code from your SLES 12. Once we do that, we can go into network configurations here. You're going to need a fully qualified domain name in order for SUSE Manager to work correctly. So you probably have one now, but and, an I, and a static IP address as well. Here I'm just making one up. I'm just going to assign it an IP address. Okay, we go next. We're going to do a default system install. Here you need to change the partitions. You got to do the expert partitions because SLES 12 will automatically select, select the biggest disk to host the home and slash directory. And we don't want that. We want our 400 gig drive here to host only SUSE Manager. And we want the 60 gig drive to host the operating system. So I'm just going to delete both partitions on the second disk. And now I've got to go to the first disk and I'm going to edit this partition to host the slash butterfs <coughs> slash root file system. So now we have swap and root file system. We're good on the first disk. On the second disk now I'm going to add what's recommended by best practices. It recommends that you have XFS file system 50 gigs for the varlib. Let's see, so XFS, and here we can just type it in. We're going to make 50 gig for the varlib PostgreSQL or PGSQL. We're going to make a second partition for the rest of the disk to host all of the SUSE Manager stuff, repositories and all that. XFS as well, it's recommended. So I'm just going to type in var spacewalk.
Okay, now we have our operating system and the 60 gig drive and we have our system manager best practices file systems configured on the 400 gig drive. <clears throat> I'm just going to skip creating a user. We'll make a real complicated root password here. Pay no attention to that. And here I'm just going to disable the firewall. I don't need it for this purpose here. Okay, we're going to go through the install. Now's a good time to get coffee. And come back and check on in about 10 minutes. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, now we can boot from the hard disk. You can see we have slash 12 sp2. Log in with our complicated root and root password. Okay, now let's just check our file systems. We should see that our root file system is all under the 60 gig drive and then we have our two file systems here spacewalk and postgres sql on the second disk and finally we can see that our SUSE manager packages are installed okay next you gotta run yasus yeah, the manager setup and we'll do that on the next video thanks for watching